If you have been keen, there has been an increase of butterflies across the country in the recent days. This has elicited mixed reactions from across board. But the question is, what does it signify? The new world. In towns, you will see them in large numbers. In rural areas, they are also present. Various opinions have been expressed regarding the presence of these butterflies. Pengine ni alama ya nja sababu hao vipepeo wanaenda wanakula majani ya miti alafu hiyo miti ama mimea inakauka. Ah vile vile hao vipepeo wanasemekana kwamba wanageuka viwavi. Wakigeuka viwavi basi ndio sasa wanakula hiyo majani na Michi ama miche zinakauka ziki move from east to west kutakuwa na wigi wa chakula lakini ziki move from west to east kutakuwa na kiangazi our greatest fear as farmers is that these insects could turn into worms or caterpillars which might attack our plants during the planting season which is just about a month away a month or two months away some argue that this situation indicates political challenges. Wakati wenye kuna vipepeo kutakuwa na crisis ya ya siasa ama political crisis. Mimi nishaiziona tena eh kama nakumbuka vizuri lakini hazikuwa kwa wigi venye ziko hivi sasa mwaka wa 2007 eh zilikuwa mingi sana lakini unakumbuka chenye kilihavi kilifanyika baada ya uchaguzi wa 2007 to 8 crisis na huo mwaka wa 2007 kulikuwa na vipepeo wengi sana sasa donaweza sasa kuamini na pia na relate na mambo ya wanasiasa venye huwa wanasema vipepeo zikikuwa wakiwa wengi sana eh kutakuwa na 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 political crisis in recent uh, times, I have noticed a number of uh, white butterflies roaming around. Machakos have traveled to Makweni and Kajiado, they are all there. Mm -hmm. But then I cannot really tell why, why there is a surge now, but there is a fear that the butterflies, uh, there is a spell that we might get this fowl. There is this uh, worms. The Meru community had their beliefs concerning the butterflies. Sikiwa zina rukaruka nyingi hivyo, wa Meru walikuwa wakisema sinaleta bad omens. Wase, wase kapisa wale wanerika ya kutoka mea kasitini na kuendelea, walikuwa wanakuya wanatoa kafara. To get answers, we visited the National Museums here in Nairobi. But that is not a species. No, it's, it's, a, it's a family. Oh, so the species will be here. Where researcher Njoro Gendungu shows us the types of butterflies preserved here since the 18th century. It is here. Hmm. Yeah. So this is basically the same family, that is you know, or the, mig the one migrating. These are three specimens here which were collected in 1883. This drawers house various insects preserved here for years and decades. If you look at uh, each and every specimen, there's a small piece of paper, mm -hmm. which we call the label, 1940. 1940. So this what? is from Nakuru. Yeah. This is from Buffalo Springs in Kenya. Jaroge explained the main reason for the increase in these butterflies after the El Nino rains. Butterfly that is migrating, yeah, it does it periodically. Uh, it's not the first time it's doing it. Normally, it will be one species uh, uh, migrating, but there are a few others, meaning other different types that are not of the kind that is migrating that we join in the migration. They join the bandwagon even without knowing why the others are migrating. So it happens even with the wild beast migration in the Mara, uh, very famous all over the world. The zebras join, you know, the migration, yet yeah, the migration is not theirs. Uh, it's uh, for the wild beast. According to Dungu, the migration of these butterflies in the Eastern Africa region is temporary compared to Southern African countries where this event occurs annually. Uh, the weather conditions could be different, you know, uh, between East Africa and South Africa. 
so there could be some sort of permanency on how you know the 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 weather is in the southern part such that uh, it's dry in january in the Karoo where they originate uh, sort of semi-arid area and it's always wetter uh, you know on the coast uh, of uh, madagascar and uh, you know eastern south africa it's probably always like that over the years and that's why they always move every year so they know every january there will be a migration of this uh, species. The species that is migrating at the moment, we call it the, uh, the brown veined uh, white. As you can see, it's generally white. It, it belongs to a family we call uh, Pieridae, and uh, these are uh, butterflies we commonly call the yells and the white. Is there a reason for farmers to be concerned about the increase in these butterflies? So basically, they're going to look for food, and there's no calamity. There's no like big farming that is pending. So they are basically going for food. For those who have been observant, these butterflies have been floating in one direction. The winds that we've had, say in the month of December and now January, have been coming from, from the south, sort of southwest, uh, if you like, uh, from Tanzania, you know, from the Congo. And uh, if you look at where the direction the butterflies, you know, are moving into, is sort of uh, towards that general direction. According to Ndungu, it is difficult to explain where they come from or where they are headed. They could be coming from very far away, yeah, like the population that is migrating currently in Kenya could be from as far as southern Sudan. They could be from as, as far as northern Uganda or northern Kenya. So they are not from that near. Uh, so they, they go breeding you know, along the way. So others will, you know, will mature and imagine to winged butterflies uh, along the way. But uh, in a day they can move, uh, you, know, you know, far distances. So it doesn't mean because they're coming from uh, uh, northern Uganda or southern Sudan, they take like weeks or months to get to wherever they're going. Their movement is wind assisted. Yeah, so it's not like they fly all those distances all by themselves. So Climate change has significantly contributed to migration of these butterflies, and it is difficult to predict when they will migrate again. With the weather changing and uh, uh, having rains when you're not supposed to have them and having dry periods when we are not supposed to be having them, so this is likely to affect. Yeah, and for sure, I can say for sure, this has affected uh, the migration over time. So in East Africa it's very hard to say uh, with certainty when we are likely even to have the next one because we, we never know when we have the conditions that we are having. Kenya has over 900 species of butterflies and globally there are over 20,000 species. Butterflies <laughs> play a crucial role in environment aspect such as pollination, ecological health, scientific research, education, indicating climate change, beauty and tourism. <laughs> These butterflies face many challenges such as destruction of natural forests, climate change, diseases, pesticides, invasive plants and other challenges. <laughs> For now, Kenyans are advised not to worry about the increase in these butterflies at this is a natural occurrence. Dan Kaburu K24, the voice of nature.